Welcome with the Kill Count, while we count some victims and watch some mystery tapes that Anthony find. My name is Unus and today I'm covering The Walton Files 1 and 2 released in 2020. The Walton Files is made by Martin Walsh who is an artist, an animator, an editor, a sound designer, and a fucking scary animatronics that has big ties. The Walton Files analog series is the best series out there. It's one of the kind of analog horrors that start so small and get big very fast, like badminton, badminton, I met big grippers, Alex Kister and Mimi Bear. You know what's sad? That people think that Jack is a fucking villain. Like dog, it's not the big villain. Or is it? I mean, he's a good parent at least. The only bad choice he picked is Felix, the drunk driver. He killed his fucking kids accidentally. Anyways, will any of these two tapes will give us kills? Maybe or not? But let's go find out and get to the kills. Against of Bonsberger intro. And the top it's Bonnie Smiles, owned the restaurant in 1974. Damn, 1974? That's old as heck. The tape shows that you gotta work in the Bonds Burgers. You can be a facility worker that you can work any jobs. And they show what Spurn Burger it is. God them scary eyes are staring my store. I'm not sure that animatronic still exists in 1974, guys. That's old as hell. They're called the showstoppers that include Bon, Sha, Benny, and Boozu. And they forgot to include Billy. <laughs> the tape says that you can work as a Bunny Smiles worker, that you can mop the floor, fix the animatronics, and watch some BSI. Bon Burgers is owned by Jack and Felix, that they got the idea on their students. And they show an uncomfortable image of Bond. What the heck? After that, they showed K9, the storage facility that they keep some animatronics in there. I'm not gonna read the whole ass words because all the YouTubers already did it. At the black screen, they show a gray Bond that is talking in reverse. I'll reverse it for you. You finally start to remember. That's all there. They will be back for you soon. Sophie. I can't tell shit if this is even a tape. But the next episode is gonna be Bond Super Sleepover, written by Sarah Evelyn. If you Call this an episode. The story begins that Bond set up a perfect movie night and they buy did a fucking sheep, a bozo, a fucking Ronald McDonald. Let's check again in case we don't forget any guests. Bond. Bond check again and Jack jump scare. They're going to watch a movie about Jack. What Jack movie and see appeals and it just glitched. After the movie watching the Jack, they sleep very comfortably, bruh. When I sleep at night, I'm very uncomfortable. When I wake up, it's very comfortable. Oh, I hate those things. And Bond chose the worst eye mask I ever seen. Anything but that. That ain't even an eye mask. That look like a jump scare. Bond wake up wake as he hears some sounds and go up and go find something. And he found a poster and said, Jack was missing on what? I can't see shit. Bond looks down and saw a lighter and use it to make a fire. <laughs> you see what I did there? Right, myth. But the next step is gonna be a bond facility workers by sent by company to go there to the K9 to check some animatronics of course. Um, what do you do if you're a worker and go check some animatronics? Just grab their legs and turn into fried chicken or something? After a long time, he finally found it. K9. You gotta do is just fix the animatronics or test the animatronics. I mean, this dude never literally has experience of testing any animatronics. This dude will fucking be garbage. And somehow he fucking good at it. He gets it and he didn't even notice a big giant animatronic with blue skin on it. Hey, I think he just made him stand and just use him for the test. He tests arms and legs and mouth. And somehow his torso is broken cell. Who the fuck broke this man? Bro, did someone that just bro broke his whole ass torso and grab his heart? Nah, man. It's fine until we go g g g g g g glitchy. It fucking turns kill mode. Before his death, we saw an animatronic. God damn it, Bonnie Skinner then. Why the table look like he's a tech boy? And this one is skinny as hell. And <gasps> the person is running away. And he said, What the fuck is that? And dies. And his head was bitten? It sound like it. Yeah, Bonnie's fine. His eyes glowing. <laughs> In the, that's my reaction when I saw that death. What in the war am I seeing? After that, we saw Brian Stills' body. That's his name. At the 
Yeah. Brian says that he's still alive and he can't feel anything. And he thought it was Sophie. So some people said that this guy is alive. Bro, his head was fucked up and his body was mangled. I'm gonna count him dead because he's gonna die. Anyways, rotten to dead. Anyways, the video ends of showing who is that man dead. Before we get to the next tape relocate project, this question made me rethink life. Why do guys look like girls? At this one. I'm not, I'm not talking Brian's tails, I'm talking fucking Susan Woodings. His name is a fucking girl and sound like a boy. What in the world? Shit. They sound like a man, they sound like a boy, and this don't sound like a girl. That made me rethink life now. Alright, that's my question. Let the tape begin! The video begins of a new intro. Bunny smiles in copying it. Hi, little bun. While the little bun is waving, we can see a YouTube link on the top. I can link the secret tapes on the description, okay? This tape is after the Jack is missing. Learning about the Lucky You video. Unfortunately, Jack was getting betrayed by Felix. Which kind of sucked that? Oh, number one, right, he's there. Let's give it up for Felix Kranken, a man with not only a giant brain, but also a giant heart. This motherfucker betrayed my heart! If you brighten up, you can see Jack. Hello. The next tip is gonna be reprogrammed faces. That they're showing the animatronic facial movements. Starting off, man. The mouth. Did he rip her jaw? The animatronics movements are blank, annoyed, surprised, looking for customers, and... Uh, what was that? I guess it was nothing. The narrator keeps repeating that bunny cannot way out. The rabbit, I meant. The rabbit cannot find a way out, and the rabbit cannot be starving. The fuck you looking at, bunny? Don't forget that the next game is just rabbits getting killed. Shut. I'm not gonna say that. This guy, that's gonna sound dark. There's some more people that are attacking the bunnies. No rabbits are harmed. Expect that rabbit. That thing is harm as hell. Everything went black out and the bunny jumps here. I mean, that's not like I would do in my old animal forms. Like, distortion music. After that, they show an image of the showstoppers. Man, they forgot Billy. They act Billy doesn't even exist. Like, he's the middle child. Anyway, they show some images of how the animatronic works and they have a game called bunny farm that's gonna be the next kill come very soon oh there he is billy nice who the fuck that gray bunny in the back this is bunny smiles technical support 1978 who the hell is that that's not sure that's bob after that you can be a facility worker that has a purple clothes and purple hat hmm, that still sounds familiar i can't seem to put my finger somewhere oh hello there brian you need items to bring on the storage facility you need a flashlight some snacks some keys some camera and very much <laughs> and this is the k facility this looks very different than I saw in the first one. I don't know, man. This is probably a new update K9 because I don't know what the hell is this thing. And shall I go sleep? And we saw a shadow man. Who the hell is that? All right, this is maybe a fact or probably be true that if you go to the Showstoppers album 2 and turn on the caption, you can see that Felix is the shadow man. Whoa, that is crazy. Martin knows how to hide some good secrets, man. That is very interesting. The next thing is called the main hall. That This is where they put some clean items, some merchandise, and the third is to hide their bodies. Ha, I found you, Shadow Boy. You can run, but you can't run. And just appear out of nowhere. Oh, look, on the reverse. I might reverse it again. Rosemary would go to the restaurant every night hoping that his beloved husband would reappear after being missing for weeks. But no response until one day she heard a voice saying, I know where she is, Rosie, coming from the backstage. Oh, interesting. That's going to be the next one, okay? This is the animatronics group. They're to keep the animatronics that are unfortunately broken or malfunctions in the K9. And I like how everyone is normal and good drawings and Bunny is just depressed. I saw you little shadow man and hide there Sha and Sha went through the shadow man and everything went glitchy. The Sha drawing turns into Rosemary and everything and Sha turns into Rosemary. Wow. And now, this is the next one. By the time the lady entered the backstage as the voice told her to, missing husband wasn't there. Instead, she found a rat. Rose broken will fix you. You will beautiful. Shut you your- 
Okay, I'm just joking. Chill, chill, chill. Oh my god, her limbs was fucking broken. Boom, what did Rosemary do to you? And we shot the Shadow Man. And hi there, Sha. It's K.A. Rosemary. He was talking about the story that he looks so beautiful. But in the inside, she was blooded. <laughs> Poster. This is a next tape or pretty basically a life lesson that you should never awake in 3 a.m. and go check some animatronics. Yeah, animatronic doesn't exist in 1979. I just check in Google. I know that shit. This is the next tape. Our name are Ashley, Kevin, Hillary, and their voice actor is Ashley, EMC, Panini, Kevin, Miss Cashin. How can I impress that? This this thing is very realistic. I don't know how much I can do this stuff in like fucking that backroom series. I'm still wondering this thing. But how did I not see the fucking Brian's body? They didn't even see a thing. I'm still wondering how they find this. I don't even see a car. Whatever. Who cares? But they probably had some guns. <laughs> I never see a gun in the water boss. Yeah, I can tell. Because it's old. I'm gonna look it up. Never mind. These guns are really, really old. I guess now. So, Ashley, Kevin, Hillary gets in, or should I go the group? Just see some animatronics are broken as hell. Holy shit. What kind of kids this? Did some kids just destroy them? Damn, chill. Alright, I'm not gonna joke around this time. So, they're gonna rebrand these characters of the animatronics because they're broken as hell. Because their torso is ripped apart. Why always the torso? I'm always wondering why... They broke the torso. The torso are always the broken part. And they went from bone and... God. Jesus. Why there's an eye on the fucking belly? Wait, never mind. That's on the table. Or you should call it a chair or something. I can't tell shit on this place. They're sleeping on the sleeping bags right next to the animatronics. I mean, animatronics are active at night. Shit. But Brian, you didn't even see Brian still got destroyed. Bro, his face was mango and body was mango too. Everything was fucked up. I'm not sure a company will literally send you to animatronics that are dangerous and you can die. If they did that on purpose and let you die, that's probably fucking messed up. Ashley wakes up early at night and hears some noises and go check on what is going on and use a flashlight. The noise is coming back from the back door and go went in. And there's a lot of doors to find. So you don't know what to pick and pick door one. You saw one robot. A lot of robots that are stayed in. And they're pretty much broken still. Eh? This we probably use this for the animatronics. He goes to the another room and see more robots. In another room, he see a gray bunny. He was confused what it is and he starts... <laughs> She saw this clown that looked like Ronald McDonald's that she never heard this or she never saw this in her entire ass life, like literally. I mean, he goes to McDonald's and saw the Ronald McDonald's but never see an animatronic version of it. She found a tape and play on Billy's stomach. The song that Billy is playing is called Happy Birthday by Percy Platypus. I don't know how do I pronounce Percy Platypus, but it's kind of weird. After a while, it just say some random names that Billy is just playing. Jack, Susan, Charles, Rosemary, Sophie. Interesting. But the fact is, my name is Charles. Ashley is probably shitting her pants right now because he's hearing some breathing, and it was born. Give her the jump scare. A slow death is more painful getting killed in the back. This thing you can see her screaming, which is sad. It confirms that he's chasing. Ah, what the fuck, Ronald McDonald? The circus clown is speaking reverse. I'm not reversing this shit this time because I can't understand shit. The view ends of Ashley body was inside of Bill, which is kind of disturbing. I can see that. How many kills that people die in this kill count on these tapes? Let's go find out and get the... Wait, what? I hear something. I'm gonna go in the, the room and I'll be back. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? Oh! Oh my god, the spawn from Five Nights at Freddy! But my god, there were three.
three people died in the Walton Forest, one and two. I'll call Susie later in Bunny Farm. The victims are one guy and two girls, giving us a weird ratio of girls, but the first three kills in my kill count. But with the runtime on 28 minutes that give us a kill on average is 8.29 minutes. Step it up, slow kills. Golden gun for the coolest kill goes to Ashley because she was screaming. Because this is the most darkest kill I ever seen the world in Falls. Because then Brian is just fucked up and Rosemary too. But Ashley is dark. No more knife for the lame skill goes to uh, Brian. Brian stales, yeah. The body was fucked up, I know, but the kill is lame as hell. It's an off screen kill. We only just get to see the body, not just a fucked up kill, okay? It's just not that messed up. It's just a bit kinda eye candy. So, yeah, it's an okay kill. Thank you so much for watching this kill count. This took me two days of reacting, where I meant editing, for two days non stop. I have a pet, I have parents. I probably wake them up when I try to edit shit. I probably don't edit that night, just I know that reason. But the next skill count is gonna be school tragedy. Yup. After some glitch errors and lossing stuff, it's finally here. That's gonna be the next skill count. And another two whole days of non editing stuff. <laughs> but, anyways, thanks for watching. Also, be good people.